Welcome to Nerd Digital Brew. Welcome to lesson number six, using Google tools. Something to note, you have to be in Google for this to work. So I'm going to give you a live demonstration of how Google tools work, and this will allow you to narrow your content from your search string even further. So here's my, my search string, Adobe Illustrator CC, an image trace and tutorial and beginner from an earlier lesson. Notice that I have within Google all these options to narrow my content of my search. But even further, if I hit tools, I can narrow that content even further. I'm gonna look for a video tutorial and using tools, I can find how long I want my tutorial to be. I can narrow that. I can determine when it was posted, which is really important, especially for tutorials. I can determine the quality. I can determine if it needs to be closed captioned or not. And I can even determine from where my so the source from where my tutorial comes from. And in this case, I'm going to choose Adobe since it's an Adobe actual tutorial. And I'm going to actually narrow the length because I need a quick answer. So maybe I want to find a, a tutorial that's under four minutes. And notice I narrow everything down to just one video that has the basics in four, four minutes or less. Okay, so that's a good example. Uh, here's a yellow Labrador and clip art. I'm going to look at my tools and I'm going to narrow what kind of image I look for. I can determine the size of it. I can determine what color it's going to be. I can even determine my usage rights, meaning how I could use this image that I did not create legally. So it'll actually give me options there. I can actually narrow what type of image it is, when it was posted, and in this case, I can even show more specific sizes. I'm gonna go back and look for an animated image, and I have options here. I can, I can change that back to clip art if I wish. Um, and I can determine that. But I'm going to go back and actually choose an animated GIF. So as I look through all of my images here, I find what I like. I see what it looks like. If I right click on it, I can save it. And, but I need, if I'm going to use it, I have to note from where it came from. And that's a good example. Okay. Um, here's another example. Illustrator and project and beginner. Let's say I want to look at something that I might want to do as a project. And this is often what we do at Vision Tech. So when I do that, I find all kinds of examples of what um, visual image could look like in Illustrator. And if I see something I like that I want to imitate or I want to recreate on my own, if I click on the image, oftentimes there's a tutorial tied to it on how to do it. And in this case, there is how to make Leaf and Illustrator. It's a graphic design tutorial for beginners. And it's got all the tools and it walks through and it demonstrates how to actually create that visual content I just saw. Pretty awesome, right? Now here's one of my search strings from the Holocaust survivor example. And let's say I've got, I wanna look for a video and I'm gonna to go to my tools. And again, I can look at, I can narrow down my content but if you look, you see I have all kinds of examples that pull specifically from my tutorial. And I can see these examples specifically and see if they're things I want to use. Because when I use my Google tools, I can tell my um, search engine to bring me specific content, specific links, um, how things look, and I can then determine which one of those sources fits the needs of my search most accurately. Also really important. Um, let's go back and let me show you how to find an image. Flooding and 29, well, let me back up. I'm going to look for, um, I'm going to show you how to actually find content within a new source. So let's say I'm back to Holocaust and Survivor and personal um, narration and I find an article and I decide I want to fi find material within it. If I hit Command F for search, I can type words that I want to note within an article. For example, I'm going to look for camp. And every time that word shows up, I can toggle through and find where that, that word shows up within the article. This helps me specify and move quickly 
through any content that I might find when I'm looking for, to see if this is the research I need. And finally, in Google Tools, if I look up images, and this is for flooding in 2019 in Kansas, and I find an image that I'm interested in, I'm going to go over here and click on it. I can right click, I can determine if I can save that image. I can actually comment, copy the image address. But more importantly, I can search Google for that image. That's an important trait because if you search Google for an image, you can often find when it was posted, um, to where it was posted, its size and its background. Uh, that way you can determine if an image for one news story was used falsely for another. And it gives me really specific content about that image and when it was used. And that is a great little summary of how to use Google Tools.